Let's talk a little bit about FuturePass and how the wallet connectivity happens. This is gonna be kind of confusing. It just is, but we're gonna make the most of it. We have a, a root at the top here that you can see that is in this OXFF wallet. If you see this, that means that it is a future pass address. If you see kind of the typical uh, one down here of the OX376, yada, 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 these are your Ethereum wallet, and this is where the XRP is. So if you can see between the two, I have 128 XRP within my future pass, and then I have nine XRP on my Ethereum wallet side of things. Now, I can transfer between these easily. I just hit send and I copy and paste either address and it will work and send it. If you're doing the recent party bearer swappables, you'll realize that you need a tiny bit of XRP on your uh, Ethereum wallet and that will uh, allow you to complete it. I don't know how many other quests are going to require that, but I've seen questions where people say, I have no idea how to get the XRP to uh, uh, or, or even kind of like get it to my ETH wallet. And the easiest way, if we're starting from square one, just assuming you're going through the MetaMask swap, is you would swap your ETH for root. And then once that's done, you would come here and then you would click bridge and send your uh, root that is on Ethereum into the root network. Now, You'll notice that there's different logos above and beyond here where this one is showing that this ASTO is on the Ethereum network and then these two different uh, ASTOs are on the root network. But again, this is in the future pass. This is in the Ethereum wallet. So let's assume that you've done the transfer. You now have root on your account, but it's going to show that the root is in your Ethereum wallet. So what you'll need to do is go on the bottom copy and paste your future pass address, the top one here, and then send that route over, at which point you'll be able to spend that route on the root network. And so what would happen is how here's the swap here, we would click root, and then we would get that XRP. And then you are good to go from swapping. However, there is still a little bit more with this because what's going to happen here is that the XRP is going to show that it's on your future pass wallet. But because you need it on your Ethereum one, you're going to now have to copy your bottom Ethereum wallet. And then for the XRP that's on the root network in your future pass, you you are going to send it and then just type in, that's a YouTube link. I didn't, <laughs> my bad. Um, but you'll be able to send it to your Ethereum wallet and then it will just show up on there. I hope this helped. I hope this makes sense. And if you have any questions, feel free to throw it in the chat, but I've seen a lot of people getting confused about this. So this is kind of a quick three minute walkthrough. All right, goodbye and subscribe if you like it.